stars in this case. A closer look at the holdfast reveals several brittle stars using it as shelter, protecting their flexible but highly delicate arms inside. They may use it as a permanent home or temporarily as public transportation. Like other sea stars, brittle stars have a central body section called a disc. A brittle star's disc houses its mouth, stomach, and reproductive organs, all in an area as small as two millimeters, nine times smaller than a dime. In the case of daisy brittle stars, their discs and matching arms come in a variety of soda and candy colors. Grape Fanta, Hostess Snowball, and Jolly Rancher are only some of the examples. One of the most commonly seen brittle stars here in LA County is called Esmark's Brittle Star. It's very, although this individual is slightly disabled for the time being, Esmark's Brittle Star, like all other sea stars, can regrow its arms after they've been damaged. They can also shed their arms to escape predators, a behavior called autotomy. The largest brittle star I've encountered is the banded brittle star. Noticeably less brittle than their smaller relatives. They're often seen moving between cover objects during low tide. Banded brittle stars can be handled without great risk to their arms or other body parts, provided they're handled gently and briefly. And just as important, return exactly to where they were found, allowing them to continue their normal behavior. 
I hope you get a chance to see one.